What was your question? I grew up watching like the X Games and anything action sports, anything that could get my adrenaline going, mountain biking, dirt biking, snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing. I always loved anything that I could do that just got my heart rate going. They get the heart rate. It's all about the heart rate. That's all about the heart rate. How do you get into that? That's what I asked him earlier. So I kind of started late. I started racing when I was 13 years old. My dad had a, a guy he worked with and his kids raced and my dad knew I loved racing. So he's like, hey, we'll take Noah out to the racetrack and test out the car. My first laps on the racetrack, I was like, this is what I want to do. do. Like, yeah. like this is, <laughs> if I can do this, like this is it. You think of NASCAR and you're like, man, this is, it's a driver out there, right? Yeah. But it, it truly is so a There's a lot of, yeah. We got, you know, 10 guys um, who just work on the on my car specifically. Yeah. Engineers, crew chiefs, mechanics. Yeah. It's about having a good group of guys around you that we all believe in each other. Right, that, yeah. That's what really makes it fun at the end of the day. Oh, really? I'm not a guy who's very serious. The, the way I can focus is just by having Enjoy, fun and, yeah. and relaxing, laying, getting loose, you know, and just, yeah. Just enjoying it. This is vacation the for us. Yeah. You know, we're having fun. Yeah. We get to go race, you know? Yeah. And it's really brought that that fun aspect back into it. I've, I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my career. Even like more fun than when I first started racing, just because, you know, it's about the people. The people yeah. that you're with, your friends, the, the guys on your team, everybody involved with it. Um, I'm just, I'm having a blast with it right now. That's awesome. Who travels with you? Like, if you have a competition or anything, do you have a team of people or is it just you guys? Uh, I think it just depends, like, if I were to do, like, big wave surfing, mm -hmm. it's definitely more team-oriented, because you have somebody on a jet ski's rescue, because yep. when you fall, you can't really get yourself out of the scenario unless you get just pummeled all the way to the beach. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the closest thing to what, I guess, you do in NASCAR, is, like, there is the team aspect. Other than that, I think surfing generally is, like, a solo sport. Action sports is definitely kind of, like, you pick who you snowboard or surf or skate with. It's yep. usually like your friends that you travel the world with and go to contests and go to video shoots and photo shoots. And so it's kind of cool in that aspect. You get to kind of like pick your team, yep. I want to say, but it's not like your team, it's just your friends that just you get to travel you the world with, with and like have go have fun. Yeah, know? totally. And like do your thing. And usually that's like for us or for me, I think that's like when my best product comes out is like if I'm like with a good group of people having a good time and just like snowboarding. I just got a dear grandpa started. now which is cool. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> I am grandpa. I'm grandpa now. I got addicted to surfing just because it's difficult. I did a lot of ball sports, played football, basketball, I was kind of messing around there. Skating, I ended up breaking my wrist and I was like I'm just gonna start surfing and every day is different. Like even when you're surfing average waves, you're never gonna like plateau. You're gonna find these new goals or new, achieve new things. And I think that was something that with surfing and I'm sure with you, like as you go through this, you're having, obviously when you're winning too, you're having fun. There's all these things that made it fun and interesting. And I think that's why I love it so much. New challenge so every challenge, day. Challenge, exactly. Right? Like, How many cars have you wrecked? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a Do you lot. guys have like a, a price alive. tag on, still on alive. the wreckage? Yeah, so they'll put like, so sponsorship's really big in our sport. And so that's the sponsor cool. will come in with, you know, X amount of dollars. And that's what you have to budget off of for the year. So you can kind of categorize the different teams. Um, the team I drive for is an A um, level team. Then you have guys that spend less money. Let's just say for numbers wise. We're spending two hundred thousand dollars a race. Other teams might be spending like a B or C might be spending one hundred fifty, one hundred thousand, and it trickles down from there. I mean, when you wreck, it's it's not ideal, but um, by any means. But um, we go through probably twelve to fifteen cars. Where's the consistently like the most wrecks here? Where's the most aggressive part of the? I mean, it really happens anyway. Like, they yeah. call it the big one. But coming we, through here would be, I assume, like. Through here, Bank. so the banking in the corners is like, yeah. this is probably like 15 to 20 degrees banking. Yeah. The banking in the corners is like 31% yeah. banking, yeah. or degrees banking. Yeah. So you come through here and like guys are like pushing you and yeah. you're like all out of the racetrack and hitting each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
And so this part of the racetrack is definitely the sketchiest going yeah. to, the, we Everyone, call this the trial. Maybe they're the most aggressive through here. Or? Guys, we'll try and relax like yeah. through here just yeah. because like we know like the car is super light. It's not down in the Too banking. Big. There's not a lot of banking you're yeah. through the corner. And it's hard to see too because you're you're right up on the guy's tail. You're pushing them. Yeah. So just they have the, the big back of the car. It's really tall with the spoiler and the roof. So you can't see what's in front of the guy in front of you. And so you're just kind of following that guy. You might peek out down the straightaways, like come over to the left just to get a glimpse. A, a yeah. glimpse so there's a rack, at. it's just that everyone racks. Yeah, you're relying on your spotter. We have a spotter that stands on top of the roof up there uh, above the World Center racing sign. Yeah. And so he's, he's on the He's trying radio. to see everything. He's our, he's our eye in the sky. He's, yeah. he's got the bird's eye view. Yeah. He's saying, hey, there's a guy, like bumper, bumper You could be inside, here and some inside, over here. You know? Yeah. And so he's he's watching. So he's giving. You can't see a lot. You're in a, a seat with a headrest that goes around you. You can't move. You can maybe look like this, but you got a mirror up here. But you really can't see that much like, out of it. So you're really relying on that guy on on the stand to really tell you where everything is around you and, and wow. just feeding you that information. Like us driving that Camaro today? Yeah, thank you. What did it I was actually asking in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we were going 140, he had it up to maybe? No, you got up to 130. 130. He was going 130. quick. I didn't know a camera could go that quick. I was kind of like, <laughs> The fastest camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're like, stock we're like, too. this oh, thing, yeah. yeah. We're like, yeah, yeah. this thing's souped up, right? He's like, no, it's stock. stock. <laughs> Hold up that check. Alright. Sweaty right. It doesn't get the same thing.